Hey, it's Kevin Tofu with GigaOM. Last month I wrote about the Link case from Absolute Technologies. It's a case for iPhone 5 devices, and just like any other case, it's got all the right cutouts, protects your iPhone, has a nice grippy feel, but it does have one unique property, and I've highlighted it by switching out a piece of it right here. This little extension piece, and here's the original one in black that matches, this piece is, to, is meant to improve your Wi-Fi signals up to 50% through something called electromagnetic waveguide technology. Basically, it looks like there's a little magnet in here, and instead of covering up the Wi-Fi antenna on your iPhone, this actually works with your antenna, even though it doesn't physically attach to it, and it should boost Wi-Fi signals, at least that's what Absolute says. So let me take you for a couple tests. What I'll do is I'll go around my house in places where I've got so-so or poor Wi-Fi coverage, and we'll use this case and extend the antenna to see what happens with the antenna down and with the antenna up. And we'll see if it actually lives up to its claim. Before we do that, let me just show you real quick that it's got the little slot here to uh, get at the mute button on your iPhone. It's got little plus and minus for the volume. It's got a cutout for your camera and your flash. It's got a little button over here for the power to wake the phone. And it's got the cutouts down below. There you can see them. I'm gonna say or point out one minor issue that I've seen already. I have one of these adapters for um, a, a, a clock radio. And it's got the 30 pin to lightning. And it turns out that with the iPhone in here, I can't actually use this adapter. It does work with regular lightning uh, cables, but let me show you how it does not quite work with the lightning adapter real quick. And I only mention that because some people do use the lightning adapter, and you won't be able to because of the way this case works. It just doesn't go far enough. The lightning piece does not go in far enough. It's held back by the case. So that's one minor snafu for people who have these. Let's see, however, if this lives up to the hype and improves Wi-Fi. All right, we're in a room that is furthest away from our 802.11ac router. It's also one floor above us, so we are as far away as we can be while still being in the house. The Wi-Fi signal looks good, but I think that's deceiving because I never get even close to our FIO speeds of 75 megabits per second down and 35 back up. Let's see what we can do here. Case is on, but the element is not extended. Pings are usually around 50 milliseconds. That's right on target there. And the downloads, as you can see, again, not even remotely close to what we should be getting, or could be getting. Of course, we are all the way across the house. So we get 1.82 megabits per second down, and the upload is maybe half a megabit per second. Yeah. That's about right. That's usually what I see or experience in here. All right, so what we'll do is we will extend the EMW element. We will then do a retest. Let's see, we've got, it says three bars, but I don't know about that. Let's see what we get. 75, we're not gonna get 75 megabits, but all right, ping time's the same. Boom, we just got a nice burst. And let's see if it stays up there. Yeah, a little faster. Look at those uploads, much faster, much faster. Look at that. 6.19, what's it gonna top out at, or I guess finish off at? Probably around three. So we've gotten different burst speeds that are faster. Um, let's do another test just for fun. See if we can get something that's a little more consistent ping time, mm, not so fast. All right, boom, there we go. Now that I can live with in this room. Almost seven megabits per second and pretty consistent. And now 10 on the upload, much better, 11, almost 12, 12. That's much, much better. All right, let's see how this fares outside where I have a crappy signal. All right, I'm sitting outside on my favorite bench where I do often uh, browse tablets and, or browse on tablets rather, or read ebooks and such. So let's see what we have here for a Wi-Fi signal. 
I'm in the front of the house, the router's actually in the back. I don't have the element extended on the case. And we're kind of seeing similar results to what we saw earlier in what I call the man cave, that other room. Wi Fi is just kind of choking. It says we have two bars on signal, but I don't know if I believe that. And upload speeds, yeah. Pretty blah. Pretty poor, actually. They're going down, not up. So, what we'll do is we will extend the EMW element on the case and we'll immediately do another test. Oops, there we go. And the dog's upset because he wants to come outside. It's still nice out. All right, faster ping time, and well, those results sort of speak for themselves right there. Big difference? Oh, yeah. Now, if you already have a good signal, this really isn't going to give you much of a boost. But I've noticed in these marginal areas, that is typical for the link case. So I would say it works pretty well in certain circumstances. I mean, the, the, for its intended use, if you have marginal signal quality, this little element here can actually give your iPhone 5 a decent boost. Again, results are going to vary because networks are, are very complex. They are different. There are so many external factors as to maybe what's going on on the network while you're doing tests and such. But uh, from what I can see, the testing I've done, this certainly does not hurt any. It can only help your reception. And uh, the only downsides I can see, it's a little hard to reach that mute button in there. And again, if you have a lightning connector, you can't really fit it in there. If you have a lightning cable, you're fine. Other than that, that's not too bad. 50 bucks to boost your Wi-Fi signal with uh, some kind of magnetics. I think I would take it. Not too shabby.